Creation or Explosion? Why did the existence of the universe mystify people and scientists? Why did they spend thousands of years searching about the origin of the universe? What is the secret of our existence? Why are we in this life? How is everything in this universe made in this accuracy? It seems that since old era up till now, we are in need to a convincing explanation about the secret of the existence and what's behind the death. So in this article we will discuss a part of that. Here's about the Big Bang Theory and what is before it. What is the Big Bang Theory? The Big Bang Theory states that about 15 billion years ago the universe came into existence, from one single extremely hot and dense point called the singularity. So the explosion of this point that brought about the beginning of the universe and since then the universe has been expanding. The evidence for the Big Bang is based on that all the galaxies are moving away from the Earth and from one another, and existence of redshift phenomena. The Origin of the Universe and the Big Bang Some atheists claim that the Big Bang is the origin of the universe. They say that the Big Bang came before everything else. And this contradicts the theory itself. It is self-contradictory to describe the Big Bang as something that had no beginning, but at the same time it is regarded as an incident that came into being after not having existed at all, and because that which existed from eternity and had no beginning cannot be an incident. If it is proven that the universe is constantly expanding, then it means that it was close together, and the gravitational force between its parts was so great that there was no space between them. And the pressure was so intense that all the matter that forms the universe was infinitely small and was nothing. This implies that at that point there was no time or space, because matter itself did not exist. If an atheist claims that the Big Bang was the origin of the universe which is perfectly designed and definitely accurate. He seems as the one who says that an explosion occurs in a forest and the trees go flying into the air, and then suddenly they combine with some flying fabrics to make a beautiful chair. And then it lands in a furniture showroom completed with matching table and lamp. Sub created thing cannot create itself. Rather it must have been created by something else and this chain must inevitably, according to rational thinking, end with the first initiator, the first creator. Who was not created by anything and is not part of that chain and does not form one link in it at all. Six verses in the Holy Quran tell about the creation of the universe. Although the efforts exerted since old time by different scientists to solve the puzzle of the existence, the science can't still reach the explanation of what happened around us. It just observes and discovers the existing. But who is the creator of even the accurate theories controlling this universe? You ask now and the Quran answered you 1400 years ago before you ask and before even the invention of the first telescope. 1. The coming of the universe into existence. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How could he have a son when he does not have a companion and he created all things? And he is, of all things, knowing. 6 101 He, may he be glorified, is the creator of the heavens and the earth without any precedent. How can he have a child when he has no wife? He created everything and knows everything. Nothing is hidden from him. Alan Am U101 2. The expansion of the universe. And the heaven we constructed with strength, and indeed, we are, its, expander. 51 47. And the sky I made and perfected its making with strength, and, am expanding its edges and expanding for my servants by increasing provision. ADH Dariat 47. The word, heaven, as stated in this verse, is used in various places in the Quran with the meaning of space and universe. In other words, in the Quran it is revealed that the universe expands. And this is the latest conclusion that science has reached today. 3. The splitting of the heavens and the earth. Have those who disbelieved not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joined entity, and we separated them and made from water every living thing? Then will they not believe? Do those who disbelieved in Allah not know that the heavens and the earth were joint without any gap in between that rain should come down from it, then I split them apart? And I made every animal and plant from the water that comes down from the sky. Do they not consider this and believe in Allah alone? Alan Bayah 30. 4. The heaven was just smoke after splitting. Then he directed himself to the heaven while it was smoke and said to it and to the earth, Come, into being, willingly or by compulsion. They said, We have come willingly. He created firm mountains on it, which stabilize it and prevent it from shaking. And he proportioned the provisions of the people and animals by the fourth day, following on from the two previous days, Tuesday and Wednesday, equal for whoever wants to ask regarding it. Fusilat. They said, We come willingly, O our Lord. 
Then Allah, may he be glorified, resolved to create the sky at a time when it was smoke, saying to it and the earth, submit to my command willingly or be forced, it has to be one of the two. They said, we come willingly, O our Lord. We have no wish except your wish. Surat Fusilat, verse 11. 5. Folding of the Heaven The day when we will fold the heaven like the folding of a written sheet for the records. As we began the first creation, we will repeat it. That is, a promise binding upon us. Indeed, we will do it. On the day in which I shall roll up the heavens like the rolling up of a scroll, and congregate the creation in the state they were created in the first instance. I have promised that it will happen, a promise that there is no going back on. I shall indeed fulfill my promise. Alan Baya 104 6. Replacement of the earth and heavens by another It will be on the day the earth will be replaced by another earth, and the heavens, as well, and all creatures will come out before Allah, the One, the Prevailing. This revenge against the disbelievers will occur on the day of judgment. On the day that this earth will be exchanged for a barren and dustless earth and the skies will be exchanged for different skies. People will exit their graves with their bodies and deeds so that they can stand before Allah, who alone is the possessor and owner of kingdom and majesty. He subdues and is never subdued and he defeats and is never defeated. Ibrahim 48 Allah is both the creator and the evolver of all that exists. Finally but not final. Dear reader, has the time not come to bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger, before the day of judgment when all creatures will come out? Before Allah, the one, the prevailing. Allah is the creator of everything. Science is proving that each day and we were told that by Allah himself 1400 years ago. Some verses talking about creation in the Quran are. A sign for those who deny the resurrection that the resurrection is true is this dry and barren land. On which I sent down rain from the sky and I grew there in various types of plants and produced various kinds of grains for people to eat. The one who gave life to this earth by sending down the rain and bringing out the plants, is able to give life to and resurrect the dead. We have placed in this earth, on which I sent down rain, gardens of date palms and grapes, and I caused springs of water to gush forth to irrigate them. So that people can eat of the fruits of those gardens that Allah has blessed them with and for which they did not make any effort. Do they not thank Allah, who gave them all of that out of his bounty and mercy for them, by worshipping him alone and having faith in his messengers? Glory be to Allah who created the various types of plants and trees, and of the souls of people, as he created males and females, and other creations of Allah that people do not know of on land, sea and other places. An indication for people of Allah's oneness is that I take away the daylight as the day draws to an end, bringing the night, as the day withdraws from it, until the people are in complete darkness. A sign for them of Allah's oneness is this sun that runs to a point that Allah knows and does not go beyond that. That determination is the determination of the mighty, who is not challenged by anyone, the knower from whom nothing of his creation is hidden. A sign for them indicating his oneness, may he be glorified, is this moon for which I have determined phases each night. It begins small then becomes big and then small again until it becomes similar to a twisted, old date stalk, in it appearing as thin, curved, yellow and old. These signs, the sun moon, night and day, each are predetermined by Allah's divine arrangement determination and do not surpass what has been determined for them. The sun cannot catch up with the moon to change its course or take away its light, and nor can the night outpace the day and enter upon it before its time ends. All these creations, subservient or not, such as stars and galaxies, have their own courses as per Allah's determination and protection. Yasin, 33-40 Verily, I created the father of mankind, Adam, from clay. I took the soil he was created from, from a mixture of water and the soil of the earth. Then I created his progeny who procreate, by way of a drop of sperm that lodges in the womb until birth. I then created the lodged drop of sperm into a red clot of blood, which I then created into a piece of flesh, which I then created into hard bones. I then covered those bones with flesh and then developed it into a completely different creation, by blowing a soul into it and bringing it out into life. Praised is Allah, the best of creators. O oh people! After having passed through all these phases, you shall die when your lives expire. Then, after your death, you shall be resurrected from your graves on the day of judgment so that you may be held to account for whatever deeds you sent forth. O oh people! Verily, I created seven heavens over you, one above the other. I am never neglectful of my creation, nor am I one to forget it. I sent down rain from the heavens according to the need toward it, not in excessive amounts that cause ruin, nor too little that is insufficient. 
I allow it to settle on earth so that the people and animals can take benefit from it. Otherwise, I am capable of causing it to wash away, in which case they would not be able to benefit from it. Through that water I then created gardens for you, the like of palms and grapevines. You have fruits of varying colors and appearance that grow within them, like figs, pomegranates and apples, of which you eat. Through that water, I also created the olive tree for you, the origins of which come from the land of Mount Sinai. From its fruits, the oil is extracted which you use and consume. O oh people! Indeed, you have a lesson to take from grazing livestock, camels, cows and sheep, in that you can draw conclusions from them in the power of Allah and His kindness to you. He quenches your thirst with pure, tasty milk from the bellies of these animals. You can also derive other benefits from them, like conveyance, wool, fur, bristles, together with being able to consume their meat. You are carried on the camels on land and on the ships at sea. Indeed, I sent Noah, peace be upon him, to his people to call them towards Allah, so he said to them, O my people, worship Allah only, you do not have any true deity except him, may he be glorified. Will you not be mindful of Allah by fulfilling his commands and refraining from his prohibitions? al Muminin 12-32 Did I not make the earth spread out evenly for them so that it is fit for them to live on? And did I not put mountains on it like pegs to stop it from shaking? And O oh people! I created you of different types, some of you are males while others are females. Made your sleep the end point of your activeness, so that you may rest. And I made the night a cover for you with its darkness, like a garment that you cover your private parts with. And I made the day a field for earning and finding provision. And I made above you seven, solid skies, perfect in their creation. And I made the sun an extremely bright and hot lamp. And I sent some clouds for which the time has come to pour down with abundant rain. So that through it I can extract different types of grains and crops. And extract gardens that entwine with one another due to the closeness of the branches of their trees. Anaba 6-16 O Messenger! Say to these idolaters, rebuking them, Why do you disbelieve in Allah who created the earth in two days, on Sunday and Monday, and you attribute equals to him whom you worship instead of him? He is the Lord of all creation. He created firm mountains on it, which stabilize it and prevent it from shaking. And he proportioned the provisions of the people and animals by the fourth day, following on from the two previous days, Tuesday and Wednesday, equal for whoever wants to ask regarding it. He created firm mountains on it, which stabilize it and prevent it from shaking. And he proportioned the provisions of the people and animals by the fourth day, following on from the two previous days, Tuesday and Wednesday, equal for whoever wants to ask regarding it. Then Allah completed the creation of the heavens in two days, Thursday and Friday. With that, the creation of the heavens and the earth was completed in six days. Allah inspired in every heaven whatever he would decree concerning it and whatever obedience and worship he would command. Allah also decorated the nearest heaven with stars and protected it from the Satan's eavesdropping. All that is the decree of the Almighty who no one can overcome, and who is all aware of his creation. Fusilat 9-12 From the signs of Allah that point towards his greatness and oneness is the night and the day in their coming after one another, and the sun and moon. O people! Do not prostrate to the sun nor the moon, rather, prostrate to Allah alone who created them all, if you truly do worship him. Fusilat 37 The Merciful One, Possessor of Vast Mercy he taught the Quran to people by making its memorization easy and facilitating the understanding of its meanings. He created man perfectly and formed him in the best manner. He taught him how to express what is within himself in speech and writing. He fixed a perfectly calculated course for the sun and moon, to teach people the number of years and calculation. Plants that do not have a stem and trees prostrate to Allah, may he be glorified, in submission and surrender to him. He raised the sky above the earth as a roof for it. He established justice on earth and instructed his servants with it. He established justice so that you, O people, are not unjust and deceitful in weighing and measurement. Maintain the weighing justly between yourselves and do not give short weight or measure when you measure or weigh for others. He prepared the earth for the creation to settle on it. It contains trees that produce fruit and date palms that have receptacles that split open to reveal clusters. It contains grain with straw like wheat and barley and the different types of grain that you have been provided as food. It contains plants whose fragrances you find to be pleasant. Which of Allah's numerous favors to you, O group of jinn and men, do you deny? He created Adam and peace be upon him, from dried clay that has a clatter like that of baked clay. He created the father of the jinn from a flame that is pure of smoke. 
Which of Allah's numerous favors to you, O group of jinn and men, do you deny? Lord of the sun's two points of rising and its two points of setting in winter and summer. Which of Allah's numerous favors to you, O group of jinn and men, do you deny? Allah mixed the two seas, the salty and the sweet, that converge as far as the eye can see. Between them is a barrier that prevents each one of them from transgressing over the other so that the sweet remains sweet, and the salty remains salty. Which of Allah's numerous favors to you, O group of jinn and men, do you deny? Every creation that is on the surface of the earth will inevitably perish. The face of your Lord, O Messenger, the one of greatness, kindness and bounty for his servants, will remain and will never perish. A.R. Rahman 1-28 O Rejectors! I created you from non-existence, so why do you not believe I will resurrect you after you have died? O people! Do you not see the semen you ejaculate into the wombs of your wives? Semen, or am I? Is it you that creates that semen, or am I the one who creates it? I determine death between you, each one of you has a fixed amount of time which he neither goes beyond nor falls short of. I am not incapable of changing the form and appearance that you currently hold, and recreating you into a form and appearance that you do not know of. Verily, you know how I created you initially, so do you not take heed and realize that the being who created you in the first place, is capable of resurrecting you after you die? Do you see the seeds you plant in the earth? Are you the ones who make that seed grow, or am I the one that makes it grow? If I wish to ruin that crop, I can do so after bringing it close to ripening and harvest. You would then be left shocked at what affected it. You would say, indeed, we lost everything we spent, and we have been punished. Rather, we have been deprived of sustenance. Do you see the water you drink when you are thirsty? Are you the ones who cause it to fall from the clouds in the sky, or am I the one who sends it down? If I wanted to make that water extremely bitter, such that it would be of no use for drinking nor for irrigation, I would have done so. Will you then not be grateful to me for sending it down as palatable and a mercy for you? Do you see the fire that you ignite for your interests? Are you the ones who make the trees you ignite it with, grow, or am I the one who causes it to grow, being kind to you? I am the one who made this fire for you as a reminder to you of the fire of the afterlife, and I made it a means of benefit for the travelers among you. O oh Messenger! So glorify your great Lord, of everything that in unbefitting of him. Al-Waqi, ah, 57-74. Here's the Holy Quran. To conclude. Or were they created by nothing, or were they the creators, of themselves? Or have they been created without a creator to create them? Or are they their own creators? The existence of a creation without a creator, or a creation which creates itself is impossible, so why do they not worship their own creator? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? But they do not have conviction that Allah is their creator, if they had been convinced of that, they would have declared his oneness and brought faith in his messenger. At Terse 35-36